Hello everyone, this is Khalil from NCS Training. We are located here in Toronto, Canada, and we are specialized in Microsoft Dynamics Business Center training. So if you have any training request, you can drop me an email or you can call me if needed. So today I'm going to answer Mark question that I had today from New York that he is having some troubles in um, setting up payment discounts. So as you know, the payment discount, the main idea of the payment discount is to provide your customers with the 2% discount or 3% discount if they pay their invoices on time. So Mark is having some troubles in setting up. So he's asking me what's the proper setup that I have to do to give my customers or the same setup that you have to do for vendors as well. If you pay a vendor within one week, sometimes they have this agreement. You have this agreement with your vendors. If you pay within one week, you will get 3% discount or you will get 4% discount sometimes, you know. So it's always a good idea to encourage your customers or to have a discount from your vendors as well if you have the proper setup in Business Central. So to do the proper setup, the first step that you have to do is to set up the payment discount in the payment term table. So if you go to payment terms, I'm going to show you this in the application as well. But if you go to the payment terms, you have to create a, a payment term that you have to assign a proper discount, 2%, for example. If you pay, if you pay, within eight days your vendors or if you get a payment from your customer within eight days for example in this example here you you will get two percent discount if your customer or if you pay your vendor within eight days you can put 16 days you can put 30 days here so this is the meaning of this payment discount here payment term so you have to create a new line for a special payment term that will provide the percentage that you want within certain number of days, eight days or nine days. This is the first step. Now, the second step is that you have to make up your mind. Do I need the payment discount, including VAT or excluding VAT, including the tax or excluding the tax? I will show you this also in a table. I prepared a table for you. So it will show the difference. But these are the two fields that you have to set up. The payment discount excluding VAT and the adjust for payment discount in the GL setup, in the general ledger setup. Now, what else do I need to do? I need to provide the proper GL account for the sales discount account and for the purchase invoices discount accounts so for the different combinations so you have to go to the general posting setup and decide which account i want to have for my sales discount for this combination for example for general business posting group and for the general product posting group for this combination you can have as you can see here like I will zoom this a little bit here. So you can see here that I, I decided to have the same accounts for both cases. For the sales account for this combination, I'm having the same account. This is the step after. Now, this table here, it explains the difference. You can have a look at this table. So if it is excluding VAT, if the payment discount setup is excluding VAT, you have to calculate the payment discount first based on your sales. So this table is based on um, taxes 25%. But the same thing, you can create your own table and you can have better idea if your taxes are like here in Canada, for example, or like here in Toronto, we have 13% discount or 13% taxes. So, uh, you know, you can create your own table for this, but this is the main idea. If you are excluding VAT, you have to calculate the payment discount first, which is $20 based on 2%. And let's assume that the sales is 1,000. 
so i have to calculate the payment discount why if it is including vat you have to calculate the taxes first and then you have to calculate the discount and notice here that these are the setup that you need for the first case and these are the set two different setup that you need for two cases here the first case is adjust for payment discount no and adjust for payment discount yes so these are the only setup that i'm going to show you this in the application as well so for example here the first step as i mentioned is that you have to go to payment terms in the payment terms you have to create your payment term which is uh, here this is just an example but you can create your own payment terms for example this payment term you can give your customer a discount two percent if they pay you within eight days this is the first step and the second step is uh, to assign this to your customer or to your vendor for example if i go to the customer card here customer list first and uh, let me open a customer here let me open customer 30,000 for example 30,000 in the customer cards i will see now that one of the fast tab which is the payment fast tab it will have the payment term code you see here so this customer 30,000 he will get a discount if they he pays within eight days and what else do we need to do like we need to go to the gl setup which is the general general ledger setup and based on your area like i know for example in europe they have excluding vat uh, you see here payment discount excluding taxes it's here set up to it's not enabled here which means that the payment discount is including taxes and they're just for payments so all of this are based on this table that i put here so you have to make up your mind and see your requirements do you have to include it or exclude it for or exclude it for taxes and do you have to adjust for payment discount yes or no based on the table that i mentioned here and the last step will be the general posting setup so if we go here to the general posting setup you will see the general general posting setup you will see the two columns that i was telling you about the the sales credit memo discount and the sales line discount you see this is the different combination for for the general business posting group and the general product posting group so you have to provide the sales credit memo account and the same thing you will see here if you navigate more you will have the payment these two columns the purchase payment discount debit and the purchase payment discount credit you see so that's it this is all the setup that you have to do uh, now remember that the setup is very important and very crucial before you start invoicing your customers or your vendors and uh, checking if they got the discount or they did not get the discount for both customers and vendors so if you assign payment term the same thing it will work for your vendors for example if you check the vendor card you will see that there's a column or there's a field that you can specify the payment term uh, for the vendor 
So I hope that was useful, Mark, and I hope that answered your question.